filmed a video too of the hamburger pan meals. Now look, they're all done. We kind of flop them out after they cool just a bit. Just like biscuits. But look how good they look. So, just want to make sure they get golden brown and everything gets done. So, let's make the gravy meal to go with it. This is what my mama would do. Got some oil, bacon grease, whatever, heating up in the pan. And then we're going to put some flour in here. I'll have to get me a whisk, too. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We'll make like a roux. Yeah, Don't worry about the measurements. They'll be written out under the video. So we're going to kind of brown this a little bit and kind of cook out the raw flour taste. So just throw it like this. I wonder if I can put you closer. Without burning you. We're going to put a little bit of pepper, some salt, and then we've got some over here in our bowl right here. We have got our water and cream and cream i use canned cream you can use milk um i use canned cream and my mashed potatoes so i had some cream left over from the can so we're using that with a splash of milk so brown this a little bit i need my beef You just had it. Sure, that's why I did. I know I use all that one. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't reach that. Betty's my thing before I can't reach that. Huh? You sure saw mm -hmm. that jar? No. It's chicken, ain't it? Oh, it's beef. Chicken's down here. Yeah. yeah. Don't just mind us. <laughs> they better not. We're fighting over here. Okay. I like it kind of like this kind of brown. I don't know if you can really get a good thing. It's going more than we are, more like a white gravy with some beef broth in it. Okay. Do we need any more fiber? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. How much you going to make? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to put all that in there. You'll need more flour. <sighs> Let's cook out this too a little bit more. I needed a little bit more flour. See how go. brown it's getting? Then how it was white. I'm gonna we'll cook this out for a couple minutes. When you look at recipes and they tell you make a dark brown roux, I mean you really cook it. Really cook it. 
my mama would like like a lot of white breakfast gravy. Hardly she would ever do like a with a little brown to it. She liked more of the white. For you. Try to get to give you a close up of that. <laughs> you don't like when you make gumbo, you make roux, and you have to make a real dark brown roux? I mean, you really let it go, but we're not going to that stage. a tad bit more. You can go as dark as you want. Doing that, I'm gonna put a little of the beef broth in there. That's what she would do with hers when she was doing the pinwheels. Now, if it was breakfast, breakfast gravy, they didn't, we didn't put um, bouillon in it. If she wanted crew chicken gravy, then she'd use chicken, chicken bouillon to go with some mashed potatoes for fried chicken. A little bit more. You can make it as thin as and thick as you want. This is going to thicken even more. Make sure you scrape the sides real good. See where it's thickening? Scrape them sides real good. And then get me a spoon so I can try this. See if it needs any more beef for you. I want to have a uh, light beef flavor to go with our beefy hamburger pinwheels. A little bit more. <coughs> That's almost done. See how it's sticking in it? Look. I think we're good. Okay, so when you know when you're, you want to know when a gravy's good or a sauce is good, I'll show you. It pours like this and it coats on the spoon real good. If you turn it to the back and you run your finger down it and it keeps that line, then you know you're good. So, give me a plate and I'll get a pinwheel on it. We already turned our thing off. She would serve it with a pinwheel. She would serve her pinwheel and then she pour gravy on top. And of course, we're going to have mashed potatoes with it. And she put a little gravy on the mashed potatoes and stuff too. And we're gonna have green beans, but not everything's done. I'm 
push this off. I'm gonna kind of get into it so you can see it. Go. Oh, wow. There is my memos, hamburger pinwheels. I hope you try this recipe. And um, remember, you can make it the way you want to. I'm trying to just give you a basis of what she would do. Remember when I told you in the first video she would make sometimes a uh, mint, the hamburger, do sausage, and do like a white breakfast gravy, or serve it with eggs sometimes. But she always did like a beefy kind of breakfast gravy with beef bouillon to serve with her hamburger pimples. So. I'll see you next episode of Super Bye, everybody.